Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss about heap sort. In previous videos, we discussed about uh, different sorting techniques and one more important sorting technique is heap sort. So here we are going to discuss it. And before going to heap sort, we need to know the basic terminology of tree. So tree uh, basically represented with uh, nodes. So in a round form, it is called a node. The first node is called root node, okay? And from the root node, so if you want to know the height of a root node, so you need to calculate the edge. So that is, this is the one edge, two, second, two edge and three. So height of the root is three. Height of the root is three. Suppose if you want to calculate the height for this node, so how many edges are there? The longest edge we need to know. So one edge and two. So two is the height of this first uh, one node. Okay. So here also only one edge is there. So we need to take the how many uh, longest path. That means here that is the shortest path. Here it is the longest path. So the, uh, this side we need to take. Okay. And suppose if you want to calculate the height of a particular uh, two. So only one edge is there. Okay. From uh, right side and left side only one edge is there. So height of two is equal to one only okay and if you uh, know the level of uh, the uh, root level always it is called zero at level and the next level is this is one uh, first level and this is second level and this is the third level so level of this 9 10 16 2 is only two only here i mentioned only for the level 10 the node uh, for 10 uh, level is only two okay so these are the basic terminologies and here uh, the, this is called the root node, 4 is the root node because this is the first node and the, these are all internal nodes and if internal node is uh, containing the children, that means leaf nodes are, it is containing, then it is called parent node also. So here 1, 3, 2 are the parent nodes because it is containing the children, okay, left child and right child, okay. Heap is a binary tree that means for any parent node only two children will be there. Uh, suppose here at four is a root node as well as a parent node. It will contain only one and three as a children node. Only two children for one, two and sixteen. For three, nine and ten. Okay. And it is a uh, binary. Uh, heap is a binary uh, tree. Okay. And now we will uh, go for the heap. What is uh, the definition of heap? A heap is a nearly complete binary tree with the following properties. Complete binary tree means every node should contain two nodes. That means 8 is containing 7 and 4 and 7 is containing 5 and 2 and 4 should contain something. But it is not a complete binary tree. It is a nearly complete binary tree. Uh, that means some node may not contain the children. Okay. And the property is all leaves are full except possibly the last one which is filled from left to right, okay? And except possibly the last one, all nodes should be uh, full, okay? And here, the uh, it should be filled from the left to right. After filling the root node, we should go to the, from start from the left. Left means seven, okay? From the left chain, then right, okay? And uh, here, uh, I will show with pen, okay? From the, here we are going to start, then we will come to the left, then right, Again, we need to come to the left, okay? So here, then it will be print like this, okay? So uh, it should from starting from the left to right, it should fill, okay? And order of the heap property, that means parent node should be greater than uh, this one, okay? Parent node should be greater than uh, children node okay so that is the main property okay so here i'm going to uh, show you so parent node what is the parent node here so here the parent node is eight okay root node also it is as a parent node parent node is greater than its children that means eight is greater than seven and four seven also a parent node because it contains the children and it is greater than five and two okay so these properties should follow and uh, it is a nearly uh, binary tree and which is filled from left to right and parent should be always greater than its children okay that is uh, those are the two properties order of heap property and structural property these properties should maintain okay that is the heap so now we will see heap sort 
array is contained like this, these elements, we need to um, sort these elements using heap, okay? So how can we fill this in a heap tree? Suppose 16 will be starting from 16, 16 will come here. And I told, I'll explain already from left to right, we need to fill. So 14 will come to this left and 10 will come to this uh, right. After that, then we will go to the 14 left, okay? Eight, seven, nine, three, two, four, one, okay? From left to right, it will be filled like this, okay? So the root of the tree always, it should be A1, okay? Uh, root of the tree, it should be A1 only, okay? Uh, first node is the root of the node. And left child is 2i, right child is 2i plus 1. Suppose one uh, for 1, uh, what will be the uh, left child? 2i means 2 into 1, that is 2 and 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3 so just remember even uh, number is left child and odd number is mm -hmm. right child for 1 2 is the left child 3 will be the uh, right child for 2 2 2 are 4 that means even number is the left child and odd number will be the right child okay and parent of this any child it is equal to by 2 we need to calculate suppose for 4 if you want to calculate the parent of this 4 by 2 that means 2 is the parent node for 8 8 by 2 4 is the parent node and for 10 by 2 5 will be the parent node okay 6 by 2 3 will be the parent node okay 7 by 2 also 3.5 it should be converted into integer to 3 so 7 uh, for 7 also the 3 will be the parent node so those we mentioned here okay and now we will be uh, for all nodes uh, parent node should be greater than a uh, it is for uh, here in uh, maximum heap it should, the root uh, this should be followed parent node should be greater than uh, sometimes minimum heap will uh, minimum heap is a parent node should be less than uh, this one root node less than its children okay uh, so here I'm going to uh, uh, show you, suppose uh, 10 is the parent node in maximum heap. So here we will get, uh, suppose this is 5 and 4, okay. So these two are less than this one, okay, 10. So this is the maximum heap. Suppose here minimum heap means 4 and 10 and 5, okay. So from the root node, these two nodes are greater than. This is called minimum heap and this is called maximum heap, okay? Maximum heap. So new nodes, uh, how can we insert new nodes? New nodes are always inserted at the bottom level only. Only if you want to insert any new node in this tree. So we need to insert at this level only, okay? And nodes are removed from the bottom level. At the re removal and insertion will be from at the uh, bottom level only. You cannot insert at the root level. Okay, this is the this is also one more uh, property. Now we are uh, discussing about the heap sort. Okay, so heap sort to operations uh, we can uh, do on heap maximum heap maximum heap building and heap sort we can do. So now we are mainly discussing about heap sort. Okay, so for heap sort. Uh, so maintaining the heap property, I already told, it should be, uh, 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 root node should be higher, yeah, lower. If it is a maximum heap, we need, it should be higher. If it is a minimum heap, it should be lower, okay? So uh, how can we do? Here I'm going to give, uh, give you the one example uh, using this. This is the array only, okay? So here array, uh, this first element is 16, 4, 10, 14, 7, okay? Just I'm writing here, first element is 16 here, okay? And second element from left to right, uh, that's why I'm explaining this. From 16, next element is array will look like, like this, 4, okay? And element is next element is 10. Okay, here I'm not uh, comma, so I'm mentioning uh, for easy understanding. For next, that is 14. Okay, the heap will be uh, tree is converted like this. Okay, 14. Okay, next is 7. Okay, this is comma, don't confuse. This is 7 and 9, 3. Okay. If it is array is like this, the tree will be constructed like, okay, in this figure, nine, three, okay. And after that, two, eight, one, okay.
okay this is the array and here it is 2 it is 8 and it is 1 okay so 2 8 1 so for this array the tree is constructed so for this we need to construct the maximum heap what is the property of maximum heap so for maximum heap every root node should be greater than its children okay so here each and every root node we need to check so how can we check the root nodes suppose uh, here 10 nodes are there 10 by 2 that means 5 roots will be available in every tree suppose 11 elements are there there will be 5 root elements will be there so check it this is also one root node second is a root node third is a root node because it is containing the children four is a root node this is and fifth, fifth also root node okay so from the each and every root node you just check whether it is uh, heap property maximum heap property is applicable or not okay so here i'm checking uh, this is the last root node, that means fifth root node. Um, and uh, after five, no root nodes are there. Six is not a root, seven is not a uh, root node. That means there is no parent node, there is no children here. So, okay, uh, this is one and this is seven. Okay, this he property is not violated here. Okay, root node is highest, greater than its children. And here also it is not violated. Okay. And just uh, look at here, each, uh, we will check these two because there is no third node here. And here we will just, just look at these three nodes, which will be the highest, 14 only. And now we need to check these three. So here the root node is uh, violated here, okay. Uh, here uh, it is uh, violated here, just look at these three. And here 14 is the greatest one, but four is the root, okay. So root node is less than its children, okay. So what we need to hear, uh, here we need to A2, we need to exchange these two. We need to exchange these two. So I have exchanged it, okay. Just look at this figure. Four is swapped here and it is 14 is came here, okay. So now uh, just look at all the root nodes once. Um, if it is violating the heap property or not, okay. And now four uh, is here. But it is also violating the heap property because four, eight and two. Eight is the highest, greater one. But four is the root node. It is less than its children. Okay. So what do we need to do here? Here we need to do. That is we need to exchange these two. So here exchanged. This eight is uh, uh, came here. And four came here. Now check every root. Okay. Ten. Okay. Greater than. And seven. It is greater than. Here also it is greater than these three. And from these three it is greater than. And these three it is greater than okay once the maximum heap if it is uh, constructed okay after constructing this uh, maximum heap so we need to uh, just uh, so this is the example uh, here I have uh, given okay so same example only so here it is now it is the root node okay here is it 16 is a, is a root node it should be converted next it is it is changed 8 okay so this uh, tree actually converted before previous in slide i have shown it okay previous one i have shown it the same slide here i explained okay so see here so after uh, uh, heapify property is uh, okay then what we need to do we need to exchange this first element and last element. Okay, what is the maximum here? 16. We need to exchange this 16 to 1. Okay, we need to exchange this 16 to 1. So heap size, that is 1 is here and 16. We need to eliminate the 16 from the tree, but not from the array. Okay, we are eliminating it uh, from the tree, but array it is stored here in the last position. Okay, so just look at here. So what happened here? The array, uh, it is in array, it is stored in 15th position. The tree is converted like this. Okay, 
just like this. So 16 is uh, here and one is transferred to here, one and 16. After this, 16 is heap size declared, uh, decreased uh, with one, okay? 16 is eliminated from the tree, okay? Now again, the heap property we need to maintain, okay? So here, uh, which one, which root is greater than 14 is the grid from these uh, three, okay? From these three, so take the pen, okay? Uh, from these three nodes, which one is the highest? 14 is the highest. So we are moving the 14 here and one will come here, okay? So after one coming uh, here, again, one, eight, seven, which will be, will be the highest? Eight will be the highest. So eight will move here, okay? Eight will move here, okay? Eight will be moved here. And 14 already moved here, okay? 14 already moved and one is moved here. From the one also eight moved here, one will come here. Again, from these three, four will be the highest. So four will come here and one will come here. So the tree after exchanging all this, the 14, eight, 10, four, seven, nine, three, two, one. Here also we need to check whether heap property, that is heapify, that is maximum heap property is okay or not. Okay, 14 is greater than eight, 10. 10 is greater than nine, three. 8 is greater than 4, 7, and 4 is greater than 2, 1, okay? And there is no root nodes are available. So after this, again, we need to exchange this 14 and 1, okay? Same I have here. That 14 and 1, we will be exchanging. The 16 already uh, there in array, okay? So after uh, satisfying the heap property, that is maximum heap property, we need to exchange the first element and last element. So what is the first? 14 is the first and last element is one. Here one thing you need to sort, uh, notice that is highest elements will be uh, reaching its first, first position. That's why we are exchanging into last position. That means uh, first 16 was the first element. It was uh, uh, its place, it has been uh, already taken. Now, so we are uh, moving to the 14, okay? Just 14 also it is, uh, we are uh, just moving it to last position, okay? And we are deleting it. Call the heapify and delete the 14 from tree, okay? We are deleting the 14 from tree. And again, the heapify process we will call, okay? So here uh, for calling the heapify process, see here, again, uh, we are deleting the 14 here. Uh, here, one and 10. Okay, the, the root node, it is 10 is the greatest one. So we are exchanging 10 and one here. Again, we will look at one and nine. Nine is the greatest element. So we are uh, uh, moving it, okay. So one will be here, nine will be here, okay. So after that, uh, heap property is satisfied. Every root node is greater than its elements. So we are exchanging the first element and last element, okay. First element, already 14 and 16. In this position, array position, okay, uh, in its position. Now 10 and 2 also we are, okay. So what will happen? 10 will come here, 2 will go here, okay. And so we'll see in the next slide. Uh, so here, uh, 2 came here and call the heapify again, delete the 10 from 3, okay. So we are deleting the 10 from 3 and call the heapify process again, okay. So see here, so now, the tree is up to uh, this only, okay? That means 10, 14, 16 are already sorted. And now here, uh, which will be the highest uh, element in these three elements? Nine will be the highest. So nine will moving here, okay? Nine is moving here and two is moving here. Again, in these three, uh, three is the greatest element. So three will come here and two will come here, okay? So two will come here. So here like this. So after satisfying the heapify process, okay, heapify. So what is happening here? Just exchange nine and three. So here uh, two is uh, nine and two. Nine is uh, here only. The last element is this one only, nine and two. So two is here and nine is here, okay. Call the heapify and delete the nine from tree, okay. So we are deleting this nine, okay. So nine also came here, nine, 10, 14, 16. These elements are sorted. Now, two, eight, three, four, seven, one. These elements are 
remaining we need to sort this also okay uh, so uh, like this it will be uh, going okay uh, so here also i have uh, seen so now uh, the tree is like this okay so here eight and two will be exchanged heapify process again started so eight will go there and two will come here okay so like this again it will check seven will come here two will come there okay after that heapify process uh, completed so now what will happen eight and one will be exchanged eight and one will be exchanged and one will be here only okay so one will be here and eight will be here okay so eight also it's um, its place uh, it has been in its place okay it, uh, it is also sorted eight nine ten fourteen sixteen now these elements are there okay these elements one seven three four two uh, and from seven two it has been um, and now we will see eight will be eliminated from here okay from this tree and now the tree will be this only okay okay it will be eliminated again seven will uh, be reaching in its place one here and one is less than so one will reach here and four will be here again seven and last element will be exchanged seven next seven will come here okay next four will come here and three two one okay four will come here and here three okay and here two and here one so the array will be started one two three four seven eight nine ten fourteen sixteen okay here uh, what is the first process we need to um, maximum heap we need to convert the tree into maximum heap after the converting it first element and last element will be exchanged after exchanging again the maximum heap proper uh, process will be continued okay maximum heap, heap process will be continued so here uh, just look at the example this will be array so now array the tree will be formed here the maximum heap process will be continued okay so here this is the highest element okay after this this property is okay after this these three will be checked two is the lowest so 14 will be here only the 14 here fit this root will be checked 10 will be here okay and after that here the 16 will here 1 and 16 and 16 will here okay and 14 here the 4 uh, 4 and 14 it will be exchanged it will be exchanged okay the 16 14 so like this the tree will be converted after this first element and last element first element and last element okay so these two will be exchanged so exchange after exchange it we will delete it from its tree not from the array we will delete it from the tree the 16 will reach its last position no need to sort here no need to sort this element remaining elements we need to sort so heap size will be always decreasing with one okay so here the tree will uh, be with nine elements only now again the same process will continues and after that it will be converted okay so actually this is the heap uh, how it will be the heap sort uh, the order of n log n is the complexity so we need to uh, remember this uh, heap sort uh, order of n log n will be the complexity okay hope you understood this uh, lecture and with some more numerical examples i will come with another video okay and uh, thank you very much um, for listening